How to Become Invisible Will Not Be Seen, so that we may bring you a special holiday edition of the Talk of Las Vegas show. Views and opinions of both the host and guest of the Talk of Las Vegas are not necessarily the views and opinions of the host and guest of the Talk of Las Vegas. Broadcasting from the entertainment capital of the world, it's the Talk of Las Vegas. This is Eric from the Talk of Las Vegas. And today, everyone, we will be talking about what is a digital wallet. Uh, many of us have heard of this term before, but maybe pretty not sure, you know, what is a digital wallet? This is nothing that, you know, you go out to Macy's and you're trying to match your clothes, you get your Gucci wallet. No, this is actual a digital wallet that allows you to do transactions of all different types, all online. And many of, many of us today are using digital wallets and don't even realize uh, Facebook, um, you got Vimo, you have you got PayPal. So you got all these other wallets and now it's just evolving now. Now you actually have a true form of digital wallet. And like I said, what is a digital wallet? Just allows you to do transactions online. You know, if I wanted to send my brother, if I want to send him money, I can use my digital wallet to go online, you know, and it's fast. It's faster than some of our conventional ways of sending money. So, and this is the era that we're in. No one is, u- is using money anymore. We're, everything is going digital. And so today we're going to be talking about the different wallets. And one of the first wallets that we're going to be talking about is Coinbase. Coinbase would be the first place you start. There are all different type of wallets out here, but Coinbase is the most user-friendly. It's very easy to sign up, and it's very easy to use. So let's just talk about, you know, what you can do, what you can do with wallets. Now, we today will be discussing about what you can do with wallets when it comes to crypto, cryptocurrencies. Uh, you know, you probably heard of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero. These are some of the other coins that are out there. But, you know, on this gram right here, um, what I'm going to show you guys is our first step is cash. Your cash is where you're going to be. You're going to go to Coinbase. You know, you're going to set up and, and, and hook your wallet up. And then you will convert your cash to whatever coin that you're trying to get. You know, Bitcoin is the granddaddy, so that's where you would start. You know, Bitcoin and Ethereum. But if you want to get altcoins, which are just, you know, different coins, you would take that Bitcoin and Ethereum and you would convert that over to the altcoins. Now, we'll take Monero. Um, Monero, I like Monero. And so for me to have access to this wallet, you have to have a Monero wallet. Each coin has a different wallet. So if it was a Bitcoin wallet, then you have to have a Bitcoin wallet. If it's Ethereum, if it's a Monero, so there's wallets for each coin out there. And if you want to transact within these coins, you have to have those wallets. So let's just start off, you know, you get your, you got your wallet. Now you're set. So now you need to fund your wallet. And basically how you would fund your wallet, you could go to an exchange and you could buy Bitcoin. Or you could go to a Bitcoin ATM and you could buy it. And simple ways, you know, and we talked about this before, is you would take your your phone or your tablet will be your wallet. And you would go up to the device itself, to the ATM. You hold it up. It's going to scan your QR code. Now, your QR code is your address. It's your account. It's everything wrapped in one. The machine is recognizing that that is you and that you are the account holder. So once it does that, now you can fund your account. And you can have your account on Coinbase. It actually allows you to hook your bank account up. So when you want to fund and buy some Bitcoin, it'll take the funds from your bank account, bring it over to Coinbase, and now you can buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. Now... Digital wallets, they allow someone to do peer-to-peer, and what that is is just person-to-person. You know, so if I want to send Bob, I want to send Bob $100, I could easily go onto my digital wallet, send Bob that $100, and he would get it in 10, 15 minutes. You know, 
a lot of people might want how many how many different wallets are out there well you have cold wallets and you have you have your hot wallets now your hot wallet that's online that's your coinbase you know it's hooked up you know your cold wallets is it's offline it's almost like um you guys can see this like a usb drive this would oops, this would be your cold wallet and they call it cold wallet because it's offline. It's not hooked up anything, and it's very secure. You can't be hacked. Cold storages, they can't be hacked. And the reason why they can't be hacked because they're not online. So these are the two type of wallets that you, know, that you should have. You should have a cold wallet, and you should have a hot wallet. You know, your cold wallet, that's going to be, you know, you're saving. That's where you're saving everything at. Your hot wallet, you're doing normal day-to-day -day transactions so these are the two type of wallets you know that you can have and like once I, once again you must have if you're using a bitcoin then you must have a bitcoin wallet you know if you're using ethereum you must have a ethereum wallet there are so many um wallets for you know every coin now some of these some websites actually allow you to have more than one coin on their wallet they'll have you know um yeah. freewallet.com it has multiple wallets so if you have multiple coins they have those different wallets for all those coins that you'll be using you know and a lot of people might ask you know why why should i switch to a digital wallet i mean a digital wallet just makes everything easier you can use it to go online to buy things you can use it to pay bills and you can use it to go peer to peer and some of these ex like, transactions, they'll be free. You know, others, they'll be minute fees. Just, to, you know, if you're using Western Union, it'll be cheaper than Western Union or your PayPal's and different things out there. But having a digital wallet just makes everything more convenient, makes everything more faster. Things are a lot more uh, safer than a lot of people would, you know, realize. Um, the crypto space and wallets, they're going to be changing the normal day of how how we doing transactions you know they have it right now if I you know if somebody else was in here and they had their phone and I had my phone I could instantly click and send that person whatever funds without being charged from a third party so this is what the digital wallets this is what they are allowing us to do you know and a lot of people may asking well hey Eric can I have more than one wallet yes just like you can have as many bank accounts you want, you can have as many as wallets you want, you know. So they're very, um, what's the word? I don't even know the word that I'm, I'm looking for. But they have multiple uses, and you can have so many different ones. So, I mean, like I said, if you don't know anything about cryptocurrencies, well, let's just start with a wallet. Because without a wallet, you can't do any of these things. Without a wallet, you know, you can't go to an exchange. Exchange where you would be, where you go buy and you go sell your different coins. Well, without a wallet, you won't be able to do any transactions. Now, let's just say you're mining. was a, a different part in crypto. If you want the mine, you would have to have a wallet because when you are doing your mining and you're being rewarded, well, those coins have to go somewhere. And if you don't have the coins going to your wallet, then it's kind of like no point kind of defeats the purpose of, of you know of mining once again you would have a wallet just to send funds to your cousin to your family to different you know friends and different things so this digital wallet has many aspects as far as how you'll be using it and it's just you know a great way of hey this is the future this is technology you know some people might not like it but you know we have to roll with the times so I would just I would definitely suggest that everybody, you know, go go get a wallet. I'm not telling you what wallet to get, but just go and go play around with it. Go find out about, you know, what is a digital wallet and what is everybody doing cuz I'll tell you guys, right now, 60 million Americans have a digital wallet that they're using. Now that's a very small number, but just imagine in 5 years how many people are going to be using digital wallets. You know, but guys, hey, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, this is Eric from the Talk of Las Vegas. 